Do you need Indeed filters for the DJI Mini 2? If you want cinematic looking footage, you will. And I'll show you how and why and explain all the details next. My name is Vic Barry and for tips, techniques and thoughts on making videos, hit subscribe, especially if you find this video useful. This is the Freewell All Day 8 Pack ND Filters for the DJI Mini 2. Thanks to my friends at Freewell, by the way, for sending me this. Thanks guys. The Freewell ND filters start at ND4 and go right up to ND64 and also come with polarizing filters. Now, think of ND filters like sunglasses for your DJI Mini 2. Side note, these also work in the DJI Mavic Mini, the original one. I'm not going to get into the science of all of this, but the higher the number on the ND filter, the less light it allows onto the sensor. Now, why is this important? For a cinematic look, you need to shoot things at 1 over 50 at 24p. Now, I'm not going to get into the math and more science here, but basically think motion blur. If you shoot 1 over 50 at 24p, always have the shutter speed double the frame rate, you're going to get motion blur, which is one of the many things that define a cinematic look. And keep in mind, we're only talking about a cinematic look here. Cinema is all about telling stories. To get a 1 over 50 shutter speed, you need to decrease the amount of light that is coming into the camera. As we can see here, 1 over 50 without an ND filter on the Mavic Mini has everything blown out. You can't say anything, it's all white. But when you put an ND filter on, presto! And this is where you can dial in your 1 over 50 or even putting the Mini 2 into auto will get a slower shutter speed. So we can really see the difference here with motion blur. And here we can see no motion blur. Notice the kind of jerkiness, it's kind of over sharp as it were. Now, which ND filter you use depends on the time of day, how bright the day is. ND32 is probably the max you'll need, but in exceptionally bright conditions, ND64 can come in really, really useful. The Freewell ND filters all day pack have you covered. Now, they come in a decent box and are easy to apply. I gotta be honest though, the first few times I got these on, they could be a little bit fiddly, but basically the grips or feet or legs or claws or whatever they're called, they grab onto this little grill on the gimbal and they stayed on without issue. Like the one downside of these is that they feel incredibly delicate and given the size of the Mini 2, I understand that. Now, they have to really be this delicate. I'd be concerned though, I might bend one of the feet or claws, whatever they are, but if you're careful and take your time, then you'll be good to go. Like, I guess anything. Now, another point to note here is that these will fit right into the DJI Mini 2 bag, so you can just leave them in the bag if you've got that kind of fly more combo. And from what I can see, there is zero image degradation with the ND filters around the Mini 2, and these have worked faultlessly for me on a few recent flights. Will you need ND filters every time you fly your Mini 2? No. But to have these in the bag and use them whenever you need, either for video or even long exposure photos, this is an absolute no-brainer. Speaking of no-brainers, be careful catching your Mini 2 by hand. I got tagged badly. Ah, I mean, this, this has drawn blood. And it's like cracked some other part of my skin there. It's like... <laughs> ah. Now, speaking of getting tagged... Sorry. This video here will take you through the process of getting a cinematic color grade for your DJI Mini 2. I'll see you in the next video and until then, hit subscribe and as we always say, don't stop fighting for yourself. What did I drop now? First video of the year, dropping stuff already, awesome.